Hello everybody, happy Friday to you all. Um, my name is Dean Fowl and today I wanted to talk to you about nesting, okay? There are three ways to lay out parts on a sheet. So basically there is interactively, interactively using the manual nesting facilities automatically using the single part nesting facility and automatically using the parts nesting facility okay let's get into this okay be back after this break <laughs> So everybody, let's get into manual nesting, okay? Uh, manual nesting is very useful um, to everyone because it allows you to make changes to any nest. Um, created automatically, however, it does not take advantage of the computer's power to try out many different arrangements, okay? So you're solely just relying on your input and um, probably experience on the parts you are making. So I'm gonna grab a sheet, okay? So I'm actually in Projects Nesting right now. Um, a little bit about Project Nesting, it's where in Projects Nesting I can keep everything together. I can manage all my parts, manage all my sheets, manage all my nest, manage all my remnants. That's what Project Nesting is about okay but we're going to jump over here i'm going to go to my sheets tab where in projects nesting i can manage all my sheets um, i can add more sheets to it i can add custom sheets or i can actually simply come in and use a remnant that i may have right i'm actually just going to grab a sheet here so let's grab a 48 by 96 and i'll just drag it up on the top here and what we're going to talk about is manual nesting okay manual nesting is that as it is described it's very manual i grab and drag apart um okay so my material doesn't match so let me change my material here edit and we'll change this to standard and i'll change that to 060 okay hit OK and done. So manual nesting is I can move these parts, drop them anywhere on my sheet, right? I can bump nest them and I can move them into each other. I can move them around, okay? I can simply come in. I can pick up and drop this one here, pick up this one, drop it in here, pick up this one, drop it in here and so forth that's manually doing things. Maybe I want to move it around, I can move it up and I can say let's go 20 and move those up 20 inches. This is manual nesting, okay? Manual nesting is I'm not going to be able to take advantage of some of the awesome algorithms inside the nesting engine, eh? Um, like and, and also batch optimization, right? Because let's, let's think about this why would we buy a nesting package? One, we want better nest. We want better sheet yield, okay? Sometimes you don't get that when you do it manually, okay? So that's why we have manual nesting, but you can also do automatic nesting, right? So, in here as well in the manual nesting you've got window a nest drag it around and it'll window those parts in there okay you'll notice that whoops you'll notice that i had um an orientation on where it can rotate it any which way possible right so that is a little bit about the manual nesting and rating okay and you can bump things around you can um, change a lot of things there now single part nesting this single part nesting um, you can get to it through project nesting okay this facility is very easy to use a method of arranging copies of a single part to fill a sheet 
right? So I'm actually going to delete this sheet. I'm actually going to come in and I'm going to grab a part. I'm going to make a part here. 24. Actually, let's, let's make this 32 by 24. Right? And we'll drop it in here. And we'll put a couple of holes in here. 1.0. Right, oops, just drop a couple of holes in. Okay, so we've created a part here, and I'm actually going to save this part. So, file, save part, oops. Uh, it looks like I've got two squares there, so we'll just clean this up. There, apply, okay. File, save part, and we'll just drop it here. Single part nest. Right, so if I go into nesting, or go over into nest, I'm back into my project screen here where I can manage all my parts. So let me grab that one file that I just had. And we're going to change the material, standard, standard, hit OK. And I'm just going to do one. Right. So with the single part nest, you can. Um, fill up a sheet and you can actually just right click go single part nest <clears throat> you can see I only have one okay because I've got a quantity of one here but here we can actually add true shape and we can over produce so it fills out that whole sheet and we can change our sizes of the sheet as well right Another one about this is you can do a custom size sheet. Or you can come in here and do a pre-cut blank. Pre-cut blank is if I come in here I maybe want to punch this side or laser this side in the holes. Maybe turn the part around and do the other side because maybe it's too big to fit on my machine. So that single part nesting there. Alright. Uh, so if if I just come in here and we'll get rid of that. Yes to all. Now we're going to talk about the parts nester. It's a separately licensed product, but you can lay out um, combinations of different parts. It's far more powerful and gives you much more control than single part nesting. The parts nester is capable of both rectangular nesting or um, true shape nesting or shape nesting and rectangular nesting is probably used more on some of the basic punching machines right so um, that is what the parts nester is fully described um, in, in the chapter there but I want to jump down here to the nest project right so this is where I am. I do everything in this project. So if you see me out on the street or you want to demo the software or you talk to me and I show you the software, I'm usually showing you projects nesting. Okay. So with projects nesting, you can see I can come in and I can give it a new project, right? And um, do you want to name your project and save it? No. And we'll just go quick project hit OK and we're done okay so with the nest project uh, this helps us where we can manage our our parts our sheets our nest our remnants and nesting options that are used or created in nesting for example you may want to use a nest project to group to group together all the parts sheets nest and remnants for a particular job order um, or you want to nest nest projects can be used with manual nesting or single part nesting and parts nesting but you still have the ability to manage all your parts down in this area here right so when 
Whether you are using manual nesting or the automatic nesting facilities, every nest drawing should conform to certain requirements which are explained, uh, well I'll explain them here. So each part being nested uh, will be, must be represented by a symbol containing lines and arcs that define the part's shape. Part symbols are prefer preferably created and saved to file using the part editor. Each instance of a part in particular nest is represented by an instance of the symbol in the nest drawing. Okay, so all parts should be named and patterned, what have you. As well as the part, sheets must also be represented in a nest and that will be your drawing. Okay, so these are actually the sheets end up being our drawings. Right, so when you come in and define everything here, we're going to go grab and we're going to come in here so we can manage our parts. Um, let's see here. Actually, let's, let's grab this one. Let's give that 20. Change material, standard, cold rolled, standard, 060. Right? Hit OK. So there's our first part. We can manage different parts and, and different orders, right? So uh, let's do this one. Open, do five, change material, standard, cold rolled, standard, and we'll do a 60 on that, right? But you can see down here, I can have a job order assigned to all my parts in, in nesting. I can come in and I can manage the sheets I want to use um, or if I want to use a remnant okay but if you wanted to remember you can do your manual nesting from here multiple parts single part nest everything in here right so now I should be able to in in this because we've got all the project nesting we can come in and change some settings maybe you want to try something different something new we can change all those settings here, okay? Maybe see it turn automation on where you want it to automatically tool the nest, sequence the nest and generate the NC code, all right? So from here, I should be able to come in and run the nester. Yep. And it's gonna, if you look up here, it's creating my nest one. It's already tooled it, already um, sequenced it and how it's generating an NC code okay and we're complete and there's our nest there's our job not a very good nest with those parts there but we can change that but I can now come in you can see I've got cutoff lines in here I can see the sequence of my nest as well if I play from the first line right and then we can also go and see our NC code for the machine and then we can do our setup sheets and this is all by managing it here in projects nesting right I could leave this open and in, in, in projects nesting I can come in and say look um, I've actually it, let's come in here and say look um, I'm gonna mark this as I've cut these right and you notice it's gone from green to gray and then I'll come in and we will remove the project nests that have been marked as cut and it'll remove those out and any parts if there are parts that haven't been cut the remaining parts will stay here but now I can keep coming in and grabbing more files and start nesting again or I can simply come in and do um, nesting by grabbing DXFs, right? So if we go to 2D, I can come into the Radian 2D and I can grab um, DXF files and we can pull those in and start nesting. Okay, so um, just to recap, the nest project helps you manage the parts, the sheets, the nest and remnants, and also helps you control the nesting options that are used on creating a nest. For example, you may want to use a nest project to group together all the parts 
sheets and nests and remnants of a particular job order you're doing or a customer. Um, also, nest projects can be used with manual nesting, single part nesting and parts nesting. So remember last week and on Friday we went from here into 2D CAD and we started drafting and doing stuff and now we've jumped over here and we can start bringing that stuff into here for our nesting. So stay tuned, look out for the next fr uh, video on Friday, usually we post them in the morning, Friday morning, but um, been pretty busy the last few days, so it's coming out to you right now. Have a great day and have a great weekend. Cheers.